Magandang araw, Pilipinas. Makalipas na po ang napakahaba-habang lockdown dito sa Region 1, ay malapit naman po tayo bumalik sa ating normal na pamumuhay. Subalit, isa na pong bagong variant ang naghahadlang sa ating kinaaasam na kalayaan. Sa hirap po ng ating mga mamamayan, paano ba nila ito nalalagpasan? Teka, teka, paano nga ba tayo napunta sa sitwasyong ito? Naitala ang unang kaso ng SARS-CoV-2 o COVID-19 sa Wuhan, China noong ikatatlumput isa ng Disyembre, taong dalawang libot labing siyam. At dahil dito, madami ang naapektuhan dahil isinailalim ang iba't ibang bansa sa lockdown. Dahil sa pandemang ito, madami sa atin ang nawalan ng minamahal sa buhay. Ang iba'y nawalan ng trabaho at karamihan sa atin ay nasa ating mga bahay. Dahil dito, naapektuhan ang madami sa atin. Kabilang na din ang ating mental health. Kumpara dati, ako ay isang masiyan at masiglang tao na kaya kontrolin ang aking sarili. Subalit, nung nagsimula ang pandemya, madaming mga problema ang aking naranasan. There are many problems that may affect the mental health of the general public. Office workers deal and manage household works while working from home. Students coping up with lessons and modules because of lack of internet connectivity or gadgets. And the fear of catching the virus or infecting loved ones gives them anxiety or depression. These are just some that are causing people neuropsychiatric symptoms or we call it the post-pandemic stress disorder. It is better to connect with others in this time of pandemic, talking to friends digitally on how life is going, playing online games to interact with many people, and building new interests and hobbies since we are at home, kagaya ng pagbabasa ng libro at pag-exercise. Isa din na pwede nating gawin ay ang ating pakikipagbonding sa ating pamilya. At para makapag-unwind, social detox ang magandang gawin. Ito'y para mabawasan ang stress sa dulot ng pagbabasa ng negative post sa social media. So ayun po mga kamangga, madami pong mga mamamayan ang naghihirap na malagpasan ang hindi matapos-tapos na pandemya. At nagbabalik na naman po ang lockdown sa Region 1. Topic, we're going to talk about how we restore interconnectedness amidst the COVID-19 pandemic. Anyone who would like to share? Yes, Ayala? Mom, I think utilizing the social media platform formed a great role this pandemic. Online webinars and classes are being implemented to avoid compacted places. Para na po iwas COVID map. So, social media became an alternative. Because of social media, we can do things such as webinars, online classes, and such. Correct! Any more ideas? Mom! Yes, Alexia? Philippines is slowly recovering from the pandemic, and I think limited face-to-face -face classes help in restoring interconnectedness in the fight against COVID-19. Limited face-to-face -face is implemented to certain places only, meaning sa mga wala po masyadong cases, and only to those na approved by IATF. Of course, evaluation are being done when it comes to implementing face-to-face -face classes. This is to ensure the safeness of the students and of course, the school staff. Very good! Lastly, Daniel, any thoughts? As the student ma'am was into online games, the gaming community also created a need for itself. Because of the pandemic, I couldn't hang out with my friends. So we searched for a way where we can still enjoy each other's company and that's through gaming. Wow, my students are very active today. In fact, lahat ng mga sinabi nyo ay tumpak. Another thing na pwede natin inagdag dito is ang pagiging bukas sa inyong mga kaibigan, kamag-anak, health workers, or even your teachers. Remember class, you can always approach someone if you're having a hard time. That's all for today. See you on our next meet. Bye-bye! Mahirap man ang buhay natin ngayong pandemya. At kahit papaano man, nakakahanap tayo ng paraan para lagpasan ito. At sa muli, ito ang mga balita ngayong araw ng Huwebes. Ako po si Mike Enrico, nagsasabing, It's okay not to be okay. Magandang araw, Pilipinas.